everybody, it's Mark from Frog Data. Been getting a lot of questions um, from our users asking, how do we go ahead and create forecasts within Frog Data? One of the most common questions is creating a forecast for the sales department. And the sales department, they have their own goals that are set up um, either through manufacturers' objectives or through actual dealership objectives for units and average grosses being sold for the month. So we do have a forecasting feature that general managers and dealer principals can use that's located under accounting, and that's called the monthly forecast. That's where you can actually go in and add forecasts for gross profit, finalized units, uh, expenses, etc., things like that. But for just doing sales forecasts uh, that you can track and see where you are on a, every day of the month and where you're heading for the month, the best place to go is under the variable ops tab. So once you hover, hover over variable ops, you go down to the monthly sales plan and select monthly sales plan, and it'll populate uh, this series of reports. The first thing you'll see in the top is for new vehicles, and as you scroll down, you'll also be able to see used vehicles. So in order uh, to create a forecast, there's a, a multitude of different ways to do it. If you look here, um, you will see that this particular demo group that we have has four different franchises, uh, which is represented by each color. So you can click on or click off to see what you want to see or not see. Um, you can do it as a group. You can do it individually. So um, let's say that you just want to take a look at Subaru. So you select Subaru. And you can see here, um, prior, the, the red line represents the current month that you're in, right? So, you know, we're in April, so uh, everything in the past is historical. So this is actual information that's pulled out of your DMS system, and it shows you the volume for each one of these months. And then going forward, uh, these are the months uh, that we're projecting based upon your historical data would be good forecasts for you to set. Now, as you know, everyone has their own goals, uh, what they want to do, how they want to do it. And then obviously what the manufacturer tells you you are required to do, quote unquote. Um, so in this instance, uh, let's say it's Subaru. And so for the month of April, um, 68 vehicles sold, 123 total vehicles sold for the dealership. So if I want to go ahead and change this for the month, I can simply go right below to where it says new vehicle sales forecast. I can go to Subaru and you can see that 68 number that's in there. And um, I have an average gross of 31.62 here. So let's say that my objective was actually 75, right? And I want to see how I'm tracking towards 75. All I have to do is go ahead and uh, click in the box, uh, highlight that, or double click, go ahead and manually enter 75, and then go back up to the top of the screen, click Save, and you'll see this number here. Uh, it regenerates, recalculates all the different units but then for Subaru now you'll see that total vehicle sold is 75 so my forecast is 75 and I want to go ahead and see hey how close am I to hitting that based upon what I've sold so far this month so from there we're gonna go back up to variable ops we're gonna to go to daily sales tracking select daily sales tracking um, we're gonna scroll down towards the bottom of these report pages or if you go up to the top to this little hamburger um, and click on that what we want to do is we want to look for new vehicle daily comparison so if we click on new vehicle daily comparison it'll scroll us down to this report and we can actually see um, where we are for the month now I can't isolate Subaru here um, so I would want to go back and, and calculate and see what I have here for the whole group so I'm at 130 there and you'll see here it says 123 so if I go ahead and hit refresh it's going to refresh the page and it'll pull in that forecast that I just created. Let me give it a second here. Uh, go back and scroll down to new vehicle daily comparison. Alright, so now you see that the forecast has changed to 130 units. So um, I can look and see. Uh, I click on, click off. So here's where I am for the month so far with finalized and unfinalized deals. So as of April 27th, which is yesterday, um, I was at 69 uh, finalized deals and 55 uh, booked and delivered deals which are unfinalized. So with three months left in, what am I pacing? So I'm actually pacing 139 units and my volume forecast is 130. So according to the forecast that I had set and the number for the month, I can go ahead and see all right, so I am going to hit 139 which is above my 130 forecast. How does that compare to last year? Well, click on that, you could see that was a COVID year, so way better than last April. How does it compare to last month? 
well, hey, I'm, I'm actually tracking below last month. So this month is actually slower, and it's been slower since the start of the month um, than I did last month. So um, a great way to, to see it and look at this on a daily basis. This is one of our daily reports. And now if, if you want to see how am I doing as far as units um, towards what my forecast is, I can always go to variable ops. And then I can look, for, oh, I'm sorry, it's under inventory, and then go down to vehicle sales overview. And vehicle sales overview, um, once this loads up, is going to show me where I am for the month by model, um, by make, um, so I can see what, what I'm doing, where I'm heading. So if I'm in here and I want to take a look at and see, all right, so my month to date, I've got 69 units. Uh, you know, uh, total finalized, my pace is 139. Previous month was 181. So I can see exactly where I am in relation to where I need to be. And then if I've got certain forecast numbers that I'm trying to hit for different models, I can go in here like with Subarus. I am actually looking for Subaru Foresters, right? So I can narrow down Forester. I can see that month to date I've sold eight. My volume pace for the month is 21. Previous year I sold two. So now I can see, hey, all right, so this is what I can expect to make for the month. So I can compare to what the manufacturer tells me and I know exactly where I'm going and where I'm heading for the month. So uh, hopefully that helps when it comes to forecasting and uh, sales forecasting and monthly sales plan. And if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to us here at Frog Data. Um, we can be reached at www.frogdata.com. And just uh, once you get there, select, uh, select contact us and we will help answer any question you may have. Uh, thanks and have a great day.